Hey guys, it's Jess here with The Sleep Judge. We tend to focus on long-term sleep solutions, but today we're going to switch gears and take a look at the Etexity Air Mattress. This product is constructed using strong PVC to provide an extra thick surface for durability, and I really love that it stands a full 18 inches off the ground. This makes it really easy to get in and out of bed, and it emulates the feeling of a real mattress very well. Now, as you can see, I've got the twin size option here, so let's go through the main points you need to know about this product to decide if it could work as the right temporary sleep solution in your situation. Like most of the airbeds we've had a chance to try out, Etexity has a built-in pump, and this makes it super easy both to inflate and deflate. So let's take a look at how that works. You'll start by plugging the power cord into the wall and turning the control dial clockwise. Once it arrives at a firmness that feels right for you, turn the dial to the off position to keep it from losing air and make sure the Boston valve is sealed completely. If the pump stays on for 15 minutes, it will overheat and stop working, this will require a cool down of around 10 minutes. When not in use, the electrical cord can be conveniently housed in the small storage area to make life a little more convenient. Now, it doesn't have a pump that kicks in to keep it inflated automatically. Like other air beds I've tried, I did notice a little bit of deflation several hours into sleeping, but it really wasn't a big deal to turn it on to air it back up to my preferred firmness, and it was minimal. Keep in mind that this product is made of PVC and it naturally stretches and expands, making it possible to air up to varying firmnesses. Now, after a few hours of being inflated or slept on, it's perfectly normal for the initial firmness to soften as the PVC naturally expanded. Now, we often confuse this with a leak. If you need a product that keeps your mattress topped off through the night, check out our full review on the Instabed Raised Air Mattress. It has a never flat pump that kicks in when it loses air, but it does cost more. The thing I really liked about Etexity is that it provides the option for manual inflation and deflation. This allows you to take your mattress out and about and use it even if there's not an electrical outlet available. Now for me, this made it a great option for camping. If you do this though, just make sure you're able to set it on top of a flat surface since it's not designed to be used on outdoor terrain where rocks and sticks could poke holes in the material. For example, a thick yoga mat or foam puzzle mats they sell for young kids to play on would work great and they're easy to transport. Now you manually inflate by opening the Boston valve and connecting an air pump or a hose to the mattress. And to deflate manually, just open the valve back up. If you're plugged in, just turn the dial counterclockwise to quickly deflate the product to a completely flat position that makes storage simple. When you roll it up, any residual air will be forced out. The vinyl material is pretty standard and it features a thickness of 0.4 millimeters. With its multi-layered construction, I noticed it offered excellent stability and I really like that the use of the special PVC on the bottom keeps the mattress from skidding. Now this combination of quality and stability allows for a pretty impressive weight limit for this product. Now the twin mattress that you see here is capable of supporting up to 400 pounds, while the queen version can hold up to 500 pounds. Like many airbeds, Etexity has a flocked top made of two layer PVC that's water resistant and offers a little extra friction to keep you from sliding. PVC materials inside the mattress work with the outer materials to keep air leaks at bay. Edge support is often lacking in airbeds in general, and this can put a damper on mobility as well as make it easy to fall out of bed. Etexity double stacks the inner chambers, and this works to improve both firmness and edge support. It also keeps the surface flatter. For those who choose the queen version for two people to use at once, this can make it more comfortable for the other person when one sleep partner either moves or sits down on the edge. Now, all PVC used in the construction of the Etexity airbed is non-toxic and follows the strictest safety standards, and I really like the height. Airbeds that are really low to the ground can be difficult to get in and out of, and I've also noticed that I'm more likely to wake up feeling the ground on my back when they lose air. Etexity makes mobility easy, both in transitioning in and out, as well as in changing sleep positions. For added comfort, you might want to consider using a topper. In our case, we threw a memory foam topper on the mattress and it felt really great. 
To hold it all together, we used a fitted sheet. For the twin size model, a standard twin sized fitted sheet worked fine. Its lightweight design and carrying bag make Etexity a great option to use for travel, and I found it to retain air very well. It took just a little bit longer to air up than other twin beds that I've tried out, but for me, this was overshadowed by the fact that you do have that manual pump option through the secondary valve. Because of this, I think Etexity is an excellent option if you're planning a road trip and won't have access to an outlet. Overall, I had a great experience with the Etexity air mattress. It did an excellent job at retaining air, and I found the flop top to be comfortable while effective in keeping you from sliding. The extra thick surface and puncture resistant materials really seem to be very durable. Etexity backs their quality with a one year warranty and refunds are available during the first 30 days for any manufacturing flaws. Now to ensure yours lasts as long as possible, there are a few things that you can do. For starters, always keep the air openings free of things like hair and lint. Never attempt to open the pump casing. Not only doesn't it contain any parts that can be repaired or serviced, opening the case exposes you to the possibility of electric shock, so leave that to customer service. You should also make sure that you allow at least two feet of clearance from the walls or any objects when inflating or deflating, and ensure your space is well ventilated. And last but not least, make sure you store your mattress in a cool, dry place. Its lightweight design, quality materials, and size options make this product one that should work well for the average person. Now, if you want to learn even more about the Etexity Airbed or take advantage of special deals on sleep products, make sure you swing by thesleepjudge.com and check out our full review. Until we meet again, though, remember, the right mattress can make even the worst days better.